Deerfield Beach of South Florida's Gold Coast is renowned for its incredible resorts and endless sunny beaches. But a da, stone's da, da. throw away just beyond a slice of sea foam, another world awaits. This is an undiscovered world, a diverse paradise. Consider what's available here. Wrecks, reefs, and an amazing array of marine life and coral that rivals any island. Only a scenic 15-minute ride from Sullivan Park to the inlet and 10 minutes to most of the dive sites makes for a relaxing start for your dives. The dives we do here in South Florida consist of wreck dives, where we tie in a descent line for your convenience. And these are followed by a drift dive, where you and your group simply descend and drift along with your own flag and float. Wherever you surface, the Lady Go Diver will pick you up. This kind of diving will spoil you. And for the more experienced diver, there are many opportunities for technical diving, like the Hydro Atlantic. On December 7, 1987, a ship of huge proportions sank in a storm just one mile east of the Boca Raton Inlet. Lying in 172 feet of water, the 320-foot-long freighter is a real shipwreck, not a diver-prepared artificial reef wreck. A huge crane stands midship with one of the ship's main anchors at its base. The winch is still on the bow and the engine is still in the engine room. This is a real wreck. Her deck is still crowded with equipment, pipes that traverse the old hole from one pump to another, cranes and giant winches still laden with cables. Because of this and more, the Hydro has been voted one of the 10 best technical dives in the United States and it's only 20 minutes from Dixie Divers. The Miller Light, a 186-foot freighter, was sank in 164 feet of water on May 17, 1987 of Pompano Beach. It should be emphasized that although parts of the Miller Light are in recreational diving depths, this wreck should only be visited by properly trained, experienced divers. In 1957, this German refrigerator cargo vessel was commissioned the Mini Horn. It was a beautiful ship. She was in service for almost 30 years before her demise. The Sucre, a 200-foot freighter, was sank in 220 feet of water on May 13, 1996. The RBJ wreck on May 18, 1986. The 130 feet U.S. Army dredge Corey N. Chris was sunk as an artificial reef as part of the Broward County Artificial Reef Program. Later, on May 15, 1988, the Ronald B. Johnson, a 226 freighter, was to be sunk in close proximity to this vessel. At the time of the scuttle, there were strong currents and things did not go as planned. As it turned out, the Ronald B. Johnson landed right on top of the Corey and Chris and at a 90 degree orientation. As far as the divers are concerned, the general consensus is that things went better than planned. These two wrecks make a spectacular sight as the diver descends and the two ships come into view. And for the recreational deep diver, there are many opportunities like the Rodeo 25. This Dutch fighter was built in 1956 and sunk in May of 1990. She is 215 feet long and has a 33-foot beam. She was sunk while almost 100,000 spectators watched. Today, this twin mass fighter sits upright in 125 feet of water. Just south, of the Jane Dorman Artificial Reef, one and a half miles from shore, just outside the third reef line. The 175-foot Coast Guard boy tender, Hollyhock, was sunk February 20th, 1990, in memory of Captain Dan Garnsey, a Long Broward County resident and owner of the drift fishing boat, Helen S. Garnsey, 
died in the year Captain Dan was placed on the bottom. This ship spent most of her 53-year career as the Coast Guard boy tender Hollyhock. The sinking was delayed for more than a month because, ironically, the high seas caused by January storms were too rough to sink a ship. The RSB-1, a 160-foot U.S. tender, was sunk in 120 feet of water on May 14, 1994. The Nula Express, a 114-foot steel hulled Danish fighter, was sunk in July 1988. She sits in 81 feet of water. In August 1992, Hurricane Andrew tore the vessel into three pieces. The Union Express, about 1,000 feet north of the Rodeo 25, a 170-foot Dutch coastal fighter sits on her side, broken in two major pieces bow and stern in 110 feet of sand. The Quailman Tugs. This dive site has two old 32 feet pressure tugs and three more dredge pipe pontoons. Sitting in 82 feet of water, this site is best known for its consistent shark encounters, something that you would only associate with the outer islands. For entry-level divers, we have wrecks like Sea Emperor, located approximately a mile and a half southeast of the Boca Inlet. A 171-foot barge rests upside down in 72 feet of water. The east side is littered with drainage pipes. Sea Emperor off Hillsborough Beach is the ultimate interactive wreck dive. Just to the east of the wreck lies a huge 1,600-ton pile of concrete piping that has attracted thousands of fish stingrays, eels, and bully a grouper in the few short years since its sinking. Few places in the world can expect consistent animal encounters like this. The United Caribbean is a 147-foot steel cargo ship sunk in 73 feet of water as part of the artificial reef program of Palm Beach on August 22, 2000. Just a mile south of Boca Raton Inlet, the ship has been built in 1969 and had a Panamanian registry to operate only in waters around Singapore. But by the early 1990s, it was being used by smugglers to illegally ferry people and drugs. In 1993, the smugglers stuffed 300 people into cramped quarters in the belly of the fighter, all hidden under a tarp. Some boarded in Kenya. It was a second leg of the trip that began on another ship in Thailand. It ran aground in Queens, New York, and after its seizure by authorities, put into the artificial reef program. Almost a mile offshore inside the third reef line in 74 feet, the former Coast Guard cutter Nemesis, now called the Asian Mariner. She served as a sub-chaser during World War II. She was launched in 1934 from Point Pleasant, Virginia. The 337-ton rivet steel ship was permanently stationed in St. Petersburg, where she served and protected Florida. Later, made into a floating restaurant, she made local history by being the site of the largest hepatitis A outbreak in Florida's history. But now, these fish don't seem to mind. Marine life found in Florida's Gold Coast, rivals that found elsewhere. Here there are interactive opportunities, oftentimes only equated with the Bahamas or the Florida Keys. Stingrays, Jewfish, Sharks, and Eel are all happy to see you. The reef system off the coast of Southeast Florida compares to any in the world. With none of the hang-ups travel outside the country can bring. You don't need a passport or a currency exchange here. And with a three-tired reef line, whether you like beach diving in 15 feet or drift diving a deeper ledge, we have something for everyone. Three lines of reef go north and south off the Gold Coast. First near the beach is the 15-feet ledge. Great for beach dives with students or just for fun. Next, in 40 feet of water, is the second reef line. Like Hillsborough Ledge, 
or the famous Angels Reef, known for its statues of angels placed by Dixie divers to watch over the reefs at 60 to 90 feet, another reef line gives us Fink's Grouper Hall and Moray Bend, a reef named for the curving path that the ledge follows. About half a mile due east of the large blue water tower on Pompano, Scarter Wreckage lies between Pompano Ledge Boys number 3 and 4. The 325-foot single screw steamer Copenhagen was built in 1898, just two years before she rang aground on the rock ledge out from Pompano. She was carrying a cargo of coal to Havana at the time of the mishap. This is one of Florida's favorite historical shipwreck dives. And for the kids starting at 15 feet and going down to 35 feet, the Copenhagen makes a historic site for your family to share. Snorkeling here is a favorite activity of the non-divers. With such shallow places to go and professional crew to help in and out of the water, it's no wonder the greater Fort Lauderdale area has been named one of the 10 best snorkeling sites in the States. All right, what do you guys need? A full-service dive center, Dixie Divers of Deerfield Beach, offers repairs, rentals, sales of new and used equipment and scuba instructions for the entry-level diver. Dixie Divers is the only Patty Five Star Center in the area that owns their boat, the Lady Go Diver, a custom-built 48-foot diving vessel certified by the Coast Guard. This allows us to hire the most capable crew in the land who are always ready to serve you. You can offer two tank dives, leaving the dock at 8.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. every day. John Divers C. are required to check in at least 30 minutes before departure. We also offer night dives, showcasing the huge amount of marine life this area has to offer. Lobsters, octopus, turtles never seem to mind a close encounter with divers. Lady Go Diver leaving at 7 p.m. can ensure that whatever your schedule, we can fulfill your needs. As a Paddy 5 Star Instructor Development Center, we offer training for the diver trying to get wet for the first time to the seasoned pro who needs training to keep up today with the continual advances in technology and technique. With our close association to area hotels, we can arrange lodging for any length of stay at surprising rates. Accredited by the state to teach professional level courses, Dixie Divers guarantees you will pass the Paddy Instructor Examination or you may retake any or all parts of the next IDC program. Pavan, owner of Dixie Divers and the Lady Go Diver, a 48-foot custom dive vessel, has more than 27 years of diving experience, in addition to his background in education with degrees in science and medical studies. He has a passion for the numerous wreck dives this area offers, and diving and training the best divers on the land or in the sea. With over 5,000 dives under him, Pavan lives the dive and have fun with all the students we have trained over the years. Spending so much time in one industry, you might think the love of the sport could be diminished over the years, but you would be wrong. Blowing bubble rings and hunting and teaching scuba keeps him very active and his love of the sport is contagious. Dixie Divers is located in Deerfield Beach, Florida, on the north end of Fort Lauderdale. Our phone number is 1 800 630 3441. Call us to book your next trip for fun or training and visit our website at www.dixiediver.com and www.ladygoldiver.net. Deerfield Beach, from snorkeling to technical diving, shallow wreck shallow reefs, deep wrecks, deep reefs, and marine life that will astound you. There is more life here than found throughout most of the Caribbean. You'll be surprised.